Hey y'all, it's Sharon and I'm back to share another policing experience with you guys. If you're new to the channel, I am a retired detective. I worked for 20 years for a southeastern city in the US and I was also in the military. I am sharing my experiences along with my perspectives while policing and in the military in hopes of um, helping others in similar situations. And with that being said, a couple of days ago, I was asked about, <laughs> I was asked, I was asked about the Uvalde shooting and the young man, uh, I think his name was Jalen Walker, was shot at 60 times and hit 40 some odd times while running away, unarmed. And I said, okay, my opinion is the bias is built into the, the policing system. And here's why. Remember a couple, couple of videos ago, I talked about, I had a bias towards white men. Remember, and I told you about how I, came about that. I was about 11, 12. Um, my father took us to his job, pulled out these nails off the board. I'll be right back. A uh, white officer comes and pulls a gun on us, pulls out his gun and makes us lay on the ground, hot ground, ants, just hot, leaves us there. Another officer pulls up, tells us to get up. And I left that whole scene with a, with a, just angry. And it ingrained in me that white men were low key racist and disrespectful. Now, fast forward to when I become a police recruit. I get trained, but the bias is still there. Um, but I didn't have the opportunity in my career to, to uh, allow the bias to, to, to be used very often because I had very few contacts with white men because the area I worked in was mostly uh, black and brown folks, poor folks. And so when I did come in contact with white men, oh, they ain't getting no breaks. Oh no, mm -mm. every they getting every last one of them getting a, a a a ticket or arrested. That was in my mind. But then when I started to, you know, take a step back and look at what I was doing, I remember pulling over this white guy. He had a pickup truck and he had a refrigerator on the back, but it wasn't secure. So I pull him over, and uh, he tells me he gives me this story and he's like, you know, I'm just going over here. Da da da. I was like, you know what? Go ahead. And um, I hope I don't see you going back and forth doing this. And, you know, I let him go. But as he pulled off, excuse me, he was like N word B. Of course, I didn't I didn't stop him again. I had another call to go to. Later on, my sergeant calls me in and he's like, uh, did you pull a guy over, white guy with the truck? And, da, da, da. and I was like, yeah, um, I gave him a warning. He's like, Walters, he said, you harassed him. You stopped him for no reason. Da, da, da. And I was like this. And the sergeant said, give him the ticket. Give anyone, a t everybody you stop, give a ticket. He said, the ticket is the warning. And I was like, oh, no doubt. Okay, so I gave a break and now here I am with the bias towards white men. Now it's being reinforced. And the reason why I say it's in police training, I admit my bias. Think about the folks that come with a bias towards black and brown folks in the and they have more of an opportunity to use the bias because we're in a black and brown folks area. Think about that. Remember, I told you I had very few contacts with white folks and usually it was because of heroin or something like that, but very few. So if I come with that bias and somebody else or all the others come with a bias towards black and brown folks and they have more of an opportunity to enact and do some things that they don't need to do, it, it, it almost enhances the idea, well, my bias is right. Cause that's what the, the ticket, not giving the guy the ticket. Oh, I was like, oh, it's on a popping now. So when I say it's built in, in the training, we went through recruit training. It was always the war on drugs or the high crime areas. And that takes you to the mindset of the dope dealer. The dope dealer is usually Hispanic or black in your mind. You know, you see it on TV and they're dangerous and they got better guns than the, us. They always said that they have better guns than us. And so you run, you, you run out of the police academy. Oh, I'm going to get the bad guy. I'm going to clean this. I'm going to help clean this neighborhood up. And people come with a bias. So I tried to explain that in a way that uh, that helps. I put I, I put my bias on the table that I had, 
and I, but I didn't have enough opportunities to use it until I started to do my self check and like, look, not every white guy is like that, 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 that. But imagine if I had a bias towards all men and the neighborhood that I worked in, there was a lot of guys out there doing some stuff they ain't had no business doing. But if I had a bias, everybody and anybody is going to get a ticket. Uh, I don't call it harassment if I'm interacting with you and you let me uh, get, get into your car or give me consent because I'm talking to you and now I done found something. I'm going to try any and everything to to get my numbers because remember we talked about that also. I want to keep the sergeant off my back. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to that neighborhood. And the sergeant wants to keep the higher ups off his back. So the sergeant comes down you, you come down on the neighborhood and then you have a bias to go with it. And that's what I saw with the Uvalde uh, shooting. Like I said, I said it in the other videos, everybody that wears the badge, two things go on. Not everybody that wears the badge is honest and not everybody that wears the badge is courageous enough. Maybe on paper, but not enough. What you saw with the officers chasing the young man and shooting him, there's an implicit bias there. And it's clear because the person had a good point. You see people running away and they look like they're about to draw a gun. They're getting shot up. And here it is, this young man walks in with a rifle. Officers have rifles. And I explained to that person also with the, uh, the active shooter training, we were taught the first two officers, y'all gotta go. Whoever that is, me, you and, some, me and somebody else, let them know what door you're going in and go. Because if the bad guy is shooting at you, he's not shooting at the babies. But again, that's just my opinion, guys. There, there are different variables that play into this, but it has been my experience to see things and be able to put things together. I hope that helped, but we all come with bias and then we're trained with the bias and the training either enhances it or tamps it down to such a degree you can't even use your bias. In terms of me and my white guy bias initially, I didn't have the opportunity to really use it. So I hope that helps. Uh, like, subscribe, take a look at our online store. The link is in the description. I created some notebooks, the links for those are in the description. And as always guys, remember, you don't necessarily have to go through a thing to learn from it. Talk to you guys later, bye.